So just another quick video about a mic input problem I had this weekend and uh, how Virtual DJ helped me save the day a little bit here. Because I had a pretty lazy setup uh, regarding the mic because uh, it was just plugged straight into my reloop controller so uh, and then set straight to master. So not a lot of stuff I could do. It was just a, a volume button and a tone button. And the problem was that uh, whenever I turned it up uh, just moderately high, then I got a really boomy sound, uh, and it uh, and it like uh, was loud enough that I couldn't really hear what I was saying and stuff. And of course, it sounded horrible. So uh, what I had to do was to turn the music way down whenever I wanted to say something, like a message. And of course, that was not a really a great scenario. So uh, what I do was I I I, uh, I had virtual DJ change the the sound for me because uh, the first thing I did was I uh, I switched the uh, the audio from going straight to master, so hardware based. And I said it's a software based on the controller. So of course your controller or mixer or whatever have to be able to do that. And then after that, I went into uh, to Virtual DJ and the audio settings. And then I added an input like I have down here. And of course, uh, uh, this weekend it was my controller here. Right now it's my audio interface, but it doesn't matter. So I added a mic input um, so that I could get the, the uh, the sound that was now being sent to my, my mic sound that was actually now being sent to my laptop, so I could get into virtual DJ. And then I basically turned it on over here, so I had my mic input here. Of course, this is already on. If it wasn't, you wouldn't be able to hear me talking. So, uh, so that's the first step. And so now I basically had the, the mic input inside virtual DJ instead, which means I could start manipulating it, right? So the next step was making sure that I had my, uh, my EQ. Um, Extension installed, so an effect here, audio effects. So if you don't have that already, you can simply add it from in here. So I chose the basic one down here, EQ 10, which is basically just a multiband EQ, right? So I had that one. And then all I needed then uh, was to enable to, uh, a way to enable that on the mic input. So for that, I used the pad page, because there's a mic effects pad page. So this one, so I made sure I had that. I already had that installed, but in case you don't, this is where you go get it. So while that was ready, I could just go into the, uh, and find it here, the mic effects pad page, and then basically turn on uh, the effects. Of course, first I needed to make sure that uh, it was the EQ effect that was on. I was not uh, looking for reverb or anything like that. I wanted to be able to adjust my, uh, my mic input, right? So I selected the IQ 10 here, and turned it on, and then I turned on the GUI for it, like this. So hear that. And uh, so uh, now it's on, and then what I could do, I could just start turning down the problematic areas, right? So I think it was something like this. I don't exactly remember. But of course, as little as possible to get uh, the, the audio uh, that I didn't want cut out. And then after that, I could start turning out the, up the, the mic input volume, and I could speak through the music. So that was pretty cool. And it, of course, it doesn't sound particularly nice, my, my, uh, my voice here, when I've, I'm doing this stuff to it. But it got me through the night. And of course, you have to remember, this only, uh, this only, um, this only uh, affects the, uh, the mic. It doesn't affect the, the general uh, audio output, the, like the speakers, the music. That still sounded great. And uh, so it's just to be able to speak through it, right? Uh, so that saved me a little bit. And then for future references, I've now created a, a, a preset. So I can just uh, pick one that says cut low end, so I can do it a little bit faster next time this may happen. Um, so that's maybe something else to prepare. So prepare that you have uh, a way to get your audio into to Virtual DJ, add the audio input, turn it on, make sure you have the uh, the mic effects pad page, and make sure you have the EQ installed if you don't already have it. And then this is maybe a trick that can help you in the future. If you get in a situation where the room you play in is weird so that all of a sudden you can't turn up your mic uh, very loud for some reason, and you don't have an external hardware-based EQ to fix it, like you maybe normally have if you have a mixer somewhere in the, in the audio, in the audio uh, link. But uh, in this case, this saved my day.